goal setting. Goals can help us move forward, track progress in our personal and professional lives, and hold ourselves accountable and motivated. Let's explore the importance of long-term and short-term goals, as well as how to make smart goals. Short-term and long-term goals. A useful way of breaking down goals can be to use long-term and short-term goals. Long-term goals are usually broad or ambitious goals that may take a while to achieve. For example, my long-term goal is to become an environmental lawyer. Becoming any kind of lawyer takes a long time, so it can be helpful to break it down into smaller steps, aka short-term goals. These break down the long-term goal into manageable and achievable milestones. My short-term goals to become an environmental lawyer are get a 90% average to increase my chances of being accepted into a law school, get an internship or part-time job in the law field, and hold a leadership role in a law or environmental related club on campus. While making these short-term and long-term goals are important, I can further utilize them by using SMART goal method to make them even better. SMART goals. SMART goals are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Making goals using the SMART format can help me keep myself accountable and also lets me clarify how I want to achieve my goals. For each letter of SMART, asking these questions can help. For specific, I ask myself, is this goal clearly defined? Have I included enough detail so I know when I have achieved it? For measurable, I ask myself, can I measure the progress and success of my goal? For achievable, I ask myself, is this goal realistic for my experience and skill level? Creating goals that aren't achievable can be discouraging if they aren't met, but creating goals that are too easy to reach will not lead to growth. Aim to set a goal that is challenging but not extreme. To break it down even further, I may also ask myself, what tasks will help me reach the outcome? For relevant, I ask myself, is my goal relevant to my long-term goal? Does it fit my needs and wants? And finally, for time-bound, I ask myself, does my goal have a time limit? How will I manage my time effectively to meet my target completion date? Let's start with an example of a non-smart goal. Recently, I took a break from swimming and seemed to have slowed down a bit, so I want to return to my pace before my break. So I make the goal of, in a couple of months, I want my 100 meter swim to be faster. This is okay, but it is a bit vague and can be improved by making it a SMART goal. Now let's take a look at this version. I'm starting with a 120 time for my 100 meter freestyle. In three months, I want to lose 10 seconds off my time by swimming every day for an hour. If we dissect the goal, we can see that it is specific. I explain in detail how I plan to swim faster. It is measured by the amount of time shaved off my original time for my 100 meter freestyle. Giving myself three months when practicing every day with my previous experience with swimming makes it achievable. It's relevant to the big picture of wanting to swim faster and increasing my swim level. And finally, it's time bound with a specific amount of time. Incorporating terms like outcomes, tasks, resources, and deadlines can also help to break down SMART goals even further. The outcome corresponds with specific. In this section, I write out my SMART goal. The task corresponds with relevant and measurable. Remember to be specific with tasks. You may also consider these tasks as short-term goals for the long-term goal. For my example, a task could be to focus on improving my freestyle breathing pattern for one month. The resources correspond with achievable. Organize resource types and list out the specific resources you plan to use. For my example, resources I write in include UBC Rec, UBC Aquatic Center, and UBC Swim Club. The deadline corresponds with time bound. Take the tasks from the first section and assign them specific deadlines. Remember, goals can always be changed or adjusted. Reflection after achieving short-term goals or completing tasks can help to readjust the long-term goal or main goal according to shifting priorities or circumstances. Setting goals can help us keep us moving forward. By setting short-term and long-term goals and using the SMART goal framework, it can help you keep motivated in your professional and personal life. We hope these tips help in setting your next goals. Thanks for watching!